Round number 16, Eli Tomac returns to his home state of Colorado. Thought he might be able to clinch it last week in Massachusetts, Ricky. All he needed was a top 14 here at M Power Field at Mile High, and the title was his, and the fans turned out in droves. We're talking 7 a.m. They were here waiting to see the three. Going bonkers for this guy. And there's one job at hand, and that's to get that number one plate and then earn his second. AMA Monster Energy Supercross Championship. Start of the main event, you think maybe he takes it safe? No, nope, he was right in the mix with Chase Sexton. Look at that, fighting for grip, wanting to get out front, try to check out. Little do we know he's been battling a knee injury since Atlanta, so that explains why he hasn't been the Eli up until then that we have seen all year. But nevertheless, that wouldn't stop him from getting the job done. Chase Sexton awfully fast out in front, and then this problem. Got going too fast through the whoops, couldn't make the stop, then gets tangled up in the tough blocks right there by the mechanics area. Lucky that Jason Anderson didn't clip him because he was coming on hard, and that was a theme all day long. Jason Anderson pushing it as Eli Tomac rode out in front and the fans here on their feet every time he came around. This is where the card started to fall for Eli Tomac. And when I say fall, go into championship mode, will eventually get passed by several other riders. But this man, number 21, mm -hmm. Jason Anderson, he has been putting the pressure on and ride incredibly well these last few weeks. Great ride for Malcolm Stewart. He's going to get by Eli Tomac. And like I said, Eli Tomac, no reason to do anything silly here. Bring it onto the checkered flag and get that championship. Remember, all he needed was a top 14 finish, and he sees all the carnage going around as Justin Barsha was trying to battle for a top three position. He puts it down. Saw a lot of guys struggling right there, and there's a transition for where they went to the sand, to the hard-packed dirt. Guys had too much trust in the dirt as they were leaning the bike over. Boom, they would slide out, lose grip. Checkered flag out for Jason Anderson. He gets another win. 13th career, sixth win this season, but it's that middle section, Denver, where he struggled and had those points losing out to Eli Tomac, who continued to build that lead, and it was on the final lap. Eli Tomac comes around, and the fans here, Ricky, some 40,000 on their feet, cheering on their favorite son. Yeah, this place was rocking, and there you can see the emotion there, one-handers, fist pumps, and congratulations to Eli Tomac. Classy move by his fellow competitors, congratulating him and then giving him an opportunity to roll out. So, in 2022, the AMA Monster Energy Supercross champion, familiar face, Eli Tomac, for the second time, he takes the number one plate.